In this video of the series, we're going to continue building out the markup and the logic required for our results page. Moving forward to part 21 of this AngularJS course, and in this part we're going to style the question area. So again, this markup is going to be very similar to the markup in our quiz controller, but we'll just speed through it and I'll stop when we get to the styling the correct answers, just so you can see what's going on there. So we're in our results controller, so I'll scroll down to the bottom of this row and we'll add in the questions after that. So I'll just leave some space in between these two rows where we'll add in the, the score and the percentage, but we'll do that in a future video. And we'll start out creating the question styling with a row. And then inside this expression, we want to reference the active question again, because of course we're still showing all of the questions. So like we did in the quiz controller, we need an active question. So we'll do that by coming into our results controller and creating a, an active question and we'll set it equal to zero. And now inside this expression we can now reference that and we'll say results.activeQuestion and then if you remember from the quiz controller in this line we added one because active question is zero index and we want to display question one not question zero for example so we'll add one and then we add a bit of formatting with the the full stop and a space and then we want to say plus results dot data service dot quiz questions and then results dot active question so this is the exact same as the markup we had on our quiz controller if we scroll up this line here that's exactly the same we're just repeating it and replacing quiz dot with results dot so we'll come back down to here but of course we want the text for each question, so we'll say dot text and get that text property. Then moving on, I'll create another row. And inside this row, we'll display each of the individual questions. If you remember, on small screens, they take up half width, so we'll make it call SM6. And then this is what we want to ng repeat for each possible answer. So ng repeat, and we'll say answer in results dot data service dot quiz questions results dot active question dot possibilities. We want to loop through all of the possibilities. And then inside there, we display each question in an H4, which remember we created a class of answer in our CSS. So we'll give that class of answer, which will just style it with the border and the, the border radius, the nice little round edges. And then we will inside here, we'll say the answer dot answer which is the possibility and that answer is obviously coming from the ng repeat. So this is the markup that's very similar to the quiz question markup but now we need to modify it slightly. So if we go into the finished example notice I have a little bit of text here that says this was your answer and this was the correct answer and if we go into one we answered correctly it just says correct answer. Okay, so we need to add in those. So we do that by just creating two paragraph tags and we'll put your answer in one of these. 
I'm going to say correct answer in this one. And then we want to just pull both of these to the right hand side. So we'll just give them both a class of pull right. Pull right. So now, of course, we want to display each of these conditionally. So we'll use an ng show directive on both of them. We'll start with the correct answer paragraph. And we want to show that on, obviously, the correct answer. So to do that, we'll create the ng show. And inside here, we're going to compare the current index of this ng repeat that's looping through the possible answers. And we'll compare it to the correct answer. And we can find the correct answer because remember on our quiz metrics object in here that we have access to inside our results controller because we injected it in here we have access to a correct answers array so we want the correct answer for the current question or the active question so we can say results dot quiz metrics and then we want the correct answers answers and we want it for results dot active question so that was easy enough and now for the your answer the ng show is going to be a bit more complicated so here we'll say ng show equals and initially we want to make sure that the current answer is not the correct answer so we'll say index and this will just be the opposite of the line we've just written results dot quiz metrics dot correct answer results dot active question but of course it's not triple equals that we want because that would imply that we're checking if it is the correct answer we want it to be not the correct answer so that's the first thing we have to check because of course we don't want to say your answer and correct answer that just makes it a bit confusing so we want to check that the current answer isn't the correct one because if it is we just want to display correct answer so if it isn't the correct answer and it's the one that the user selected so that would be if index equals results dot data service this time because we want something some information about the questions data service dot quiz questions results dot active question dot selected So here in the ng show we're checking that the current answer is not the correct answer and it's the answer that the user selected and if that's true then we'll display your answer and we'll save that and now the last thing we need to handle about this is displaying the backgrounds of each answer so we want a green background if it's the correct answer and a uh, red background if it's a selected answer that the user gave and it's incorrect. So to do that I'm going to show you a slightly different way of using ng class. So we'll come up here onto the answer h4 and of course we want to style it with an ng class because it's going to be a conditional class that we're going to add on and we would typically just go in and use this sort of syntax and style it that way but there's another way we can do it we can actually give ng class a function so we can say results dot get answer class and we'll pass in an argument of the current index so that will be the index within this ng repeat which is looping through the possible answers and then we need to create this class so we'll come into the results controller 
and we will add another line that says vm dot get answers answer class and set that equal to get answer class function get answer class and then inside here we're giving ourselves an index so we'll give that an argument and we'll just go back into the html and make sure we spelt this right get answer class we did and now all we want to do inside here is check if the index that we've been passed in is equal to the correct answer or if that index is the correct answer so we'll use if index equals the correct answer and remember the correct answer is stored on the quiz metrics service and we say quiz metrics dot correct answers and then we just pass in vm dot active question and then if it is the correct answer then we just want to return the class that we want to display inside that ng class which is bg success in this case because it was a correct answer and then else if index equals data service dot quiz questions vm dot active question dot selected and then we want to return here bg danger so what's happening here is a bit different to how we've used ng class in the past so we're giving ng class a function and passing it in the index of the current answer through this loop and then we're checking if the index of that point in the loop is equal to the correct answers index and if it is we're returning the class that we want to display bg success and then if it is the correct answer of course we display bg success else if it's the answer that the user gave which is clearly incorrect now because we wouldn't reach this else if if it was correct we would have just returned after the bg success then we want to display bg danger and that is our get answer class so that's just to illustrate to you that you can use other ways other methodologies with ng class you can give it the object with the name value pair syntax or we can give it a function and just return the class that we want you can use either or so now we quickly save all of this and take a look at what we've got so this is our work in progress start the quiz yes and there we go we've now got this red background because it was an incorrect answer and it's telling it this this was our answer and a green background here on the correct answer and we can hit all of these and that's not working so we need to create the function that will add the functionality for clicking these buttons and we need to add in the go back to facts button down here and that's what we're going to tackle in the next video for those of you that haven't checked out my website yet I do a full article write-up for every single video that I put out on YouTube and that will include code snippets and other little things that will help you along. The link to the write-up for the current video is on the bottom left of the screen. And if you just want to continue watching this video series then just click the link in the center of the screen and we'll get started with the next video.